Good day grade 10s, welcome to your next lesson in statistics. In this lesson we're going to look at measures of central tendency of group data. Oh, big words, but what are we really saying? We're saying that we're going to group the data and then we're going to look for the measures of central tendency. Now if you recall, what are the measures of central tendency? We're just looking for the average, so we're going to be looking for the mean, the mode and the median. Okay, but let's see how we're going to do this. So, first of all, Calculate the measure of central tendency of group data does not mean doesn't mean that we have the same accuracy as before. Obviously, but if you've got tons and tons of data, then obviously that is the best we can do. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this for sample sizes that are very large. So let's look at an example. Let's say we've got this data, we've got a group data, we've got a whole bunch of people and we measured their mass and it's already been grouped for us. So for example, we've got four people in the range from 50 to 59, 62 people in the range from 60 to 69, 81 people in the range from 70 to 79, etc, etc. So we've already group this data and now we want to know what was the mean mass, which is the modal group and what is the median group. In other words, what was the average mass, which group had the most people in it and which was the average group. Okay, so let's have a look at how we're going to do this. First we need to find the midpoint of each sub range. So let me just get a pen. And if you look at this, you can see that halfway between, where is my pen? No idea, there it is. Halfway between 50 and 59 is going to be 55. Halfway between 60 and 69 is 65, etc, etc. So now we have the midpoint, the average point between 50 and 59. The average point between 60 and 69 is 65, etc, etc. So we're going to use the midpoint. Now, the definition of the mean is equal to the sum of fi xi times by n, where this is the frequency and this is the midpoint. Okay, so what are we saying? We are saying that the mean is equal to divided by the total. So this is equal to, in other words, what we're going to do is we're going to go 4 times 55 plus 62 times 65 plus 81 times 75 plus 31 times 85 plus 2 times 95 divided by the total number of people. And how did we get that? Well, we added up the frequency. We went 4 plus 62 plus 81 plus 31 plus 2 equals 180. Now grade 10, so this formula here is going to be on your formula sheet, but you need to know how to use it. You need to know that you need to get the midpoint of each of your groups and you need to know that Fi stands for the frequency of that group and you need to know that this funny sigma stands for the sum of. So then we're going to take the sum of the frequency of each group times by the midpoint of each group. We're going to add it all up and then divide by the number of people entirely. And you'll see that the mean of this is 73.06. So what the mean is saying is that it thinks that according to the mean, the average mass was 73.06 kg, 73.06 kgs. Okay, let's look at another way that we can measure the central tendencies of group data. Let's look at the modal class, and the modal class is the easiest one of all of these. All we're looking at is which one has the greatest frequency, and obviously it's this one here with 81. So therefore, this here is the modal class, and class is just another name for a sub-range. So basically we're saying this is one class, that's another one, that's another one, and we're saying that this is the modal class because it has the greatest, the greatest frequency. Now let's have a look at how to work out the median. Now the median is slightly more tricky, so we actually need to think about this. The position of the median is the middle term. So the easiest way to work out the middle term is we take the total number of people, we add one and divide by two, and we get 90.5 people.
So we want to know actually what is the median class. We want to know where does the median fall. So the median falls at the point of between the 90th person and the 91st person. So let's have a look at this. 4 plus 62 is 66 and 66 plus 81 is more than 91. So therefore again this happens to be the median class. The median class is where you find the 90th person and the 91st person. So basically between the two. And that is how it works for group data. It's that easy. The only tricky thing guys is this formula here which you need to know how to use. They will give it to you on the formula sheet. You just need to know how to use it. Please practice this. Make sure you can do it and then do the assessment at the end of the section. Have a great day. Ooh.